I mean, it looks foggy, but this is so much smoke. There's so much smoke in the air from the uh, fire that's in Northern California, we're thinking. Yeah. And it is so high. I mean, you could tell by the clouds themselves, this smoke is just drifting from Northern California. We have seen this smoke since we were in, like, further than, closer Maybe to Bakersfield. Bakersfield yeah. Like, I mean, that's how much smoke there is in this state of California right now. We finally got to Napa. We're gonna go say hi to some relatives. a.m. and we're about to take off our cousin is getting her shoes and then we're leaving are you doing your um, daily uh, beauty guru vlog <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey guys subscribe and comment down below <laughs> Stop in, where are we now? In Eureka? Humble, no. <laughs> We're That's not in Eureka yet? How long, how far like are we? We're like two hours away from Eureka. Oh, where's, where'd she go? There you are. <laughs> this is Leilani, our cousin, and she is 18, right? <laughs> but she's been 18 for like five years. <laughs> 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 what an introduction. Oh my goodness. We need, we need to get coffee and get ready for the rest of the day. If a redwood falls in the forest, does it make a sound if no one is there to hear it? No, you send your says no. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are about to look for some food in Eureka. And the most interesting part about this is that we're in a different uh, part of the state where I assume that there are too many vegan options, but Yesenia says that we should be able to find some. So I'm excited about that. This is gonna be cool. All right, so it looks like we found the Wildflower Cafe. Vegan French toast, three slices of sourdough bread, and tasty vegan cashew butter. Okay, tell me what it tastes like. Look how faint it has like tomato. I know, my goodness. Who knew in Eureka we would be able to do this? Oh my god. Really? It's oh my so gosh. good. Oh. Sorry, I'm reading your back. Okay, and then we got the. Oh. Can you tell me what this is? This is vegan French toast. French toast? Yes. French toast nice. is my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at that. You guys, I've been And then the macaroni as well. All right, guys. So this is a nut burger, which they actually have at Follow Your Heart in Los Angeles too. That's good. That's good. So why did you go vegan? challenge myself and to prove to myself that I can do something healthy for my body and my mind and so far it's working we just had this delicious vegan breakfast and lunch brunch and I, French toast is my favorite food and I had four servings of French like four slices and I feel fantastic I can run into the ocean and back and not feel winded so that's why I went vegan. I went vegan because I ended up seeing the animal cruelty practices, factory farms, 
and I realized how unnecessary that type of cruelty is to animals, and it just doesn't make sense. Uh, if we can, if we can survive on a vegan diet, like it took me some time on my vegan diet to actually realize how uh, possible it is to survive and thrive on a vegan diet. If you can avoid those foods from factory farms, do it. That's, that was my original intent. Wait, so you're saying that I passed that sign and I'm in Oregon already? Yeah. I've never gone uh, to Oregon before. I've never gone this far north. So thank you, Yesenia, for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> We're driving all the way over to the border so I could touch the freaking border. Wow. We're finally at the hotel. And <laughs> looks like Yesenia found <laughs> the place we're gonna eat next. Where are we gonna eat next? Indian food. Yeah! yeah. This is my first time ever going. Leilani, are you excited? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. This is exciting. How many vegan places are there in Eureka? Two. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm serious. I'm gonna walk without shoes for a little bit. I can't even feel my feet, so they're pretty much shoes. I mean, I can't feel them. The sensation's gone. This is a path. There is a path. There's a path, yeah. So, um, have you been here before? Yeah. You've never this been is here my before? First time in Burn Canyon. So I'm so excited to share it with you, with Leilani, with everybody. Um, well, you saw how excited I was driving. <laughs> yeah, you were excited. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. This uh, trip being able to force me out of my shoes and into just bare feet walking this this path. I feel so connected right now. I'm like holding onto the tree branches and just jumping off where I am, walking into cold water, feeling the, the dirt and the mud and the rocks underneath my feet. It's a great connection that you can make with the earth when you get close to it that way. My feet kind of hurt, but you know, they feel great. My body feels great. How do you feel? A-okay. A-okay? You got your feet wet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel so close to nature that even the cold doesn't really bother me as much. I just feel so at ease with my shoes off. With them on, I feel so disconnected. Thinking about editing, thinking about what I have to do next, what I have to do tomorrow, what's going on in my head. Oh. Alright guys, so we're going to go to Amy soon, and um, I'm scared because I might go vegan. Times two. Eating this? Yeah. Is it already on video? Yes. Wait, no, it's on.
All right, guys, so we're at Amy's. We're finally gonna be able to eat the food. Leilani, how do you like it? Good? Nice. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna try this right now. See what it tastes like. That's good. This is vegan mac and cheese. This is better than mac and cheese from the restaurant. Doesn't it, it looks like the Kraft's mac and cheese you buy at the store. Yeah. Ooh. Look at it, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I keep checking to make sure it's not real cheese because it like slides off the cheese, the, the bread, like regular cheese. So you like it? I really like these napkins too. <laughs> tell us, can you tell us why? Probably 100% recycled. They can be composted, yeah, not like recycled. Here. I love it. Thank you. I need it. Thank you. <laughs> This is my friend Annie. I've known her for 10, 11 years. We met in LA in the market. And she's a badass. Can I say badass in your book? <gasps> she works for Oliver's Market and she is a it's sustainability coordinator at Oliver's Market. At Oliver's Market. We're, it's a local train, a local chain that really focuses on local produce and local stuff, local businesses, local community. Four stores only. Boom. In County. Yeah, these are the very best fries I have ever had. They're Sam's favorite too. Why? Because they are amazing. Yeah, they mastered this because Amy's wanted them to be the best. And so they did lots of trial and error and they found the best organic. I don't know if they're local, but they're organic real potatoes. And they have, yeah. They just do a lot of research on it to get it right. And really, it hasn't changed since the opening when I first um, first came here. It's just like a year or two. Wait, three years. I forget well, how long now. So you're you're not getting paid to say this, right? No. This is better than... Sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a big fan of, of this place in particular. I'll buy you a new box of... I could eat them. No, please, have them. All right, guys, so it is 4.45 right now in the morning. Cindy and I are headed home on Monday morning. You know, I can't succeed every week. And this week itself was so long with work and then this as well. You know, I, I failed a lot in many ways. I went to the gym twice this week and I've not been able to handle the calorie count. Again, um, I wasn't able to bring everything with me but uh, it's a life lesson and I feel like there's been so much growth in just the way that I've, I've, I'm thinking about food and thinking about, you know, <laughs> it's funny, but it really, like really my mentality has changed a lot since I've started and uh, I'm growing from it, even though this is the second time on a trip that I've not been able to handle the calorie count. This weekend was definitely a great opportunity for self-growth in a lot of ways. This family trip was a, a great, a great uh, moment right before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is coming up too, but you know, I, I really did bond with my sister here and my cousin. All right, until next time, guys. For the My VLNF 365 series, I'm Aaron Lanuza.